Hey, it's Tansel, four-time Australian memory champion, international best-selling author, and your memory coach. And today, I wanna to talk about memory coaching, right? And this is in relation to how it all works. Um, you know, if you wanna be a memory coach, um, because I've learned so much uh, as a memory coach, right? And to be honest, I, I didn't even know um, that I'd be in this position, I had no idea. And the reason why I'm here is I just want to pass on the knowledge. Right? That, that's pretty much it. Uh, and help people as well. So let's get stuck into it. So what is memory coaching? Now, for me, memory coaching is not just helping people to remember stuff, right? Because if you want to be able to do that, um, you can just watch all these YouTube videos, you know, all the lessons online, you know, blogs, articles, books, information is there, right? Um, that's easy. Like you, you can get all that information, learn it very quickly. So it's, it's not about that. Memory coaching is about what you can use with that knowledge, right? What you can do with it. Um, because they don't necessarily teach you that in books, right? Um, they can tell you, but you still have to do it, right? So memory coaching is about, okay, I've got this particular skill that I've learned. Um, how do I do it? How do I use it in my everyday life? That's going to benefit me. Right, that's the thing. So when I work with people, um, I always try and understand where the person's coming from. Um, because once you understand the individual, then you understand, okay, um, these are the things that may work for them, right? Um, I never say that will work, because again, something that works for me may not work for other people, right? So I always get people to try things out. And that, that's the beauty of, uh, I guess, coaching um, in general, is you can get people to try out stuff and if something works, then great, you double down on that, <laughs> right? So my coaching process is essentially, you know, listen intently, write down a whole bunch of notes, right? So yes, I, I do take notes, right? I don't try and remember everything. I've got a bit of sunshine. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll actually, uh, there you go, that's a bit better. I have to, come on, sun, all right, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, I try and write down as many notes as I can, listen intently. Um, and then try and formulate some questions around that, right? And maybe, maybe I'll block the sun. There you go. So that's a bit better. Um, <laughs> I'll, I try and formulate some questions uh, around it um, to essentially dive deeper into that particular thing. Um, and that, that's what coaching is good for. It's good for um, getting deeper insight uh, from people. Right, because essentially you've got all the answers within you, right? You've got all the answers within. When you ask the right questions, uh, you get the right answers, right? And if you ask awesome questions, you get awesome answers, right? How, how cool is that? So my job is to just ask questions, um, really, uh, almost like a, a life coach or a counselor or someone. But again, th there's a skills element of memory coaching. So you learn the skills, practice the skills, um, and I analyze and feed it back to you. Um, and that, that's how that works. So what can you learn through memory coaching, right? Aside from the skills and practice and all of that stuff. Um, as I mentioned, you learn about yourself, right? How do you work as an individual? right? What works for you? Because that's important. And that, that's what I've learned for myself, actually. I had to coach myself, essentially. I mean, I never had a coach growing up, right? Um, and then later on in life, I found out, gee, you know, coach could really help me, um, you know, push forward in life. And when I did get onto that, it's like, wow, okay, I should have done this earlier in my life. So I know the benefits of coaching. But once you actually go through it yourself, you realize that it's actually, you know, it's not that bad. And I get to learn about myself and what my strengths are, what my weaknesses are. And you generally know your weaknesses, but you don't know your strengths, right? Until uh, someone really points it out for you uh, or you dig deeper into that issue. So you learn uh, more about yourself. So for example, right, uh, I've got one, I've, I've got many clients that have an issue of anxiety and stress. Now, you probably think, well, memory coaching, it's not even related, right? But here's the thing. If you're stressed and anxious, you're telling yourself some sort of a story. Come on, bloody son. Um, I should maybe do these videos another time, but there you go. Um, you're telling stories in your mind, right? Of, oh no, well, this might happen, or this has happened, or so on, right? You're stressed, you're anxious. 
right? Memory training is all about storytelling, right? So if you know how to tell a better story in your mind, guess what you can do? Um, you can rewire the brain in a way where you can help with your stress and anxiety. So currently I've got a, a few clients at the moment that is going through this exact same process, right? Uh, one client that is so stressed about being with a particular group of people, right? Um, playing out a lot of narratives and scenarios uh, in their head. And what I essentially said was, well, instead of playing out those scenarios, right? Write those scenarios down, your feelings, everything that you're feeling. And then once you've written them down, see if you can come up with an opposite of that uh, in terms of an open question. So for example, I fear that these people might be teasing me, right? So, okay, write that down, right? How does that make you feel, all of that stuff? And then you go, okay, what could be the opposite of that? You know, maybe they're saying, saying something good about you. Okay, you know, that changes the feeling now of being feeling ridiculed to feeling loved or whatever, appreciated, right? You don't know what's going on, what they're saying, right? So it's irrelevant, isn't it? Unless you go and ask those people what's going on. But generally, if you've got a fear of that, you're not going to go and do it, right? Uh, hopefully this video comes up okay, right? Um, so anyway, because of the, the lighting and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, want to make sure that the stories that you tell in your brain are heading towards that positive. And it's not as simple as saying, just tell a positive story. No, you can acknowledge the negative stuff, note it down, and then try and you know move away from that. So yeah, you can visualize people saying positive stuff. Um, even better is just ignoring altogether, but that's a hard thing to do. The brain does not simply ignore. It creates scenarios, <laughs> right? And the scenario in this case, which is years of built up scenarios, mind you, it's not, just the once-off thing um, that happens to people. It's like years and years of you know skill that's developed uh, of making these mental narratives and creating anxiety. So if you can change that to something like, oh, these people are saying good things about me, that's great, um, then yeah, maybe that's better. Um, because at the end of the day, like I said, you don't know what they're saying, so you might as well make up something good and feel good right, in the process rather than feeling bad until something happens that's, you know, that's not bad at all, right? So it's better to feel good and then get disappointed later on than to feel bad and not be disappointed, right? Because if you're feeling good, right, uh, what's going to happen? That's going to attract a whole other heap of good things towards you, right? But if you're feeling crap, you're going to attract that as well. That, that's the issue. So yeah, getting back to memory coaching, that's the kind of stuff that it helps you with, right? understand the deeper meaning of using your brain. And if you know how to use your brain to your advantage, you've won, right? You're the winner in life, that's it. You know, no one can touch you, you're unstoppable, you know, domination mode, you know? And uh, I speak about domination mode uh, in my you know, other videos as well, um, that we'll, we'll look more into it because uh, I, I feel that, you know, like you're not just here to compete. Right? If you think about it that way, I think it was Michael Jordan who said, you know, he's not there to compete, he's there to dominate. And when I first heard that, it just totally blew my mind. It's like, whoa. Um, after I learned that, I, I went and won four memory championships in a row and I did dominate. I think the next person's score was like, I was double their score, right? So that's the kind of level that we want to get to. And that's what memory coaching does. It helps you to figure out uh, these things come up with strategic solutions that are mental, right? And then go and absolutely dominate because no one's stopping you now. Nothing's stopping you. If you've got barriers and blocks and fears and all that sort of stuff, then that goes away. And imagine a life where you have no fear, right? I want you to picture that now. Imagine a life where there is no fear. What would that look like? I gave that as an example, um, as homework for one of my clients. And again, changed his life. <laughs> you know, he was able to mind map it. But ask yourself that question. What can you do if you had no fear, right? What would you be able to do? You know, you can even write it down in the comments if you like, right? What would you be able to do? I mean, I'm sure so many people would be empowered just you know, hearing uh, what you're able to do. And then you can write your own. In fact, if you voice your, you know, um, I guess communicate to us what you're able to do, 
then maybe that's going to help you do it even more because you're externalizing it now. You're letting it go. So write it down. What will you be able to do if you had no fear? Right? It's such a beautiful thing knowing that there is no fear. It's just you know you that's blocking it. No one else. You can't blame anyone. Right? It's only you. You've got the total power, total control. And once you know that, then you can go out and do anything. So that's the power of memory coaching. So if you want to work with me, um, I do have a limited number of spaces that I see people. So get in touch you know, below. I'll have it in the description. Uh, and we can at least have a conversation and see if you know, memory is the thing for you. Because it may not be. Uh, it could be that you might just need to read a book and that's it. I mean, I've read so many books that's changed my life, right? And I'll probably go through that in another video. But, you know, if you do um, need help or if you need guidance, assistance or where to go, whatever, um, let's just have a chat because, you know, uh, if I can at least assist you in any way, then great, right? So there you go. Um, there's a video on memory coaching. Um, I had no idea which direction that it was going to go to. <laughs> but again, the whole idea for me is about telling you that memory coaching is just not about retention and remembering stuff. It's so much deeper than that. And again, it's about finding yourself. So if you want to be the best version of yourself and you want to dominate, then that's where we can play, right? Um, get in touch and we'll have a chat and see where that goes. So hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.